Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in NX. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to model this standard bolt in NX. In this tutorial, I have taken M12 bolt with a standard pitch of 1.75 and a K, the size of width of the external head is 7.5 and uh, the S, the head diameter is 18 mm and the length of the bolt is 25 mm this is the uh, dimension i have taken after modeling in nx the component will look like this while taking the uh, standard thread you cannot see this this finish uh, in this tutorial we will learn how to get this type of finish also these are the steps i have followed to create this bolt now we'll learn how to model this bolt step by step. First go to the file, new. Here model, our units are in millimeter, so choose millimeter. Specify the model name, specify the location where you want to save, then save OK. Now we have opened it. To see the dimensions, I'm just keeping this left side. After I'm just taking right side. Now we we can model it very quickly by seeing the dimensions parallelly. Now we will start with the hexagonal head. Go to the sketch. I am just taking the front plane. Just save OK. To get the external shape, go to the menu. Insert. Curve. Here there is an option called polygon. Here number of sides is hexagon and 6. 6 I have taken. And here you can see the diameter is 18 here they have provided a radius make it to 18 divided by 2 9 and this rotation angle also 0 just specify this location rotation angle we make it 0 9 you get it so this distance is 18 they have so just close it now we got the external shape just finish the sketch extrude the thickness of the hexagonal head is k the k dimension 7.5 so just make it symmetric value which is 7.5 press enter just say ok now we have created the hexagonal head then we create this rod this shank shank with the diameter of 12 that is m12 the diameter is 12 so just take this one Go to the sketch again here just rotate it this coordinate will come yes just say ok now make sure you are in the entire assembly now just take the circle midpoint just create a circle press the roller to confirm now just specify the diameter is 12 now here you can see the sketch is fully finished finish the sketch then extrude the extrusion length is 12, 25 mm the length of the shank is 25 just say ok just hide these two sketches now we have created this bolt then we just want to do a chamber here then we just want to make a thread to make a chamber here go to the sketch again take the plane which is parallel uh, perpendicular to the parallel edges this plane the top plane we have to take just save ok now take a line make sure you are in the entire assembly then only you can able to select these points now make these two lines are equal just save ok this line has a dim dimension of 1.5 Press the roller to confirm. Now the sketch is fully finished. Just finish the sketch. Now we are going to re revolve this sketch around about this axis. Use the revolve. The sketch is automatically taken. Then go to specify the vector, this vector. Automatically it has taken to uh, material removal. Here you can see subtract. Subtract. Just save OK. Now we have created uh, a round here. Here we don't want to create round here. Then we just want to make a thread. Uh, 
to the entire length before that we'll make a small uh, a round using uh, edge blend select this edge we can go for uh, 1 mm just say okay now go for the thread for making a thread we have option called thread go to the menu insert design features at the down you can see thread select this cylinder surface it has to select this cylinder surface select the surface automatically it will thread will generate from this surface to here now m12 with the pitch of 1.75 automatically it comes shaft diameter is 11.70 is the minimum diameter and major diameter are also in here you can see how much thread we just want to make here full length just give a value of full then just say there are different options short of full full length just say okay now we have made a thread up to this we can make a little arrangement here short of full just say okay one mm it will give a gap between these two then here you can see nowhere the thread will finish like this we just want to complete this thread for that we just want to do extrusion up to here so for that just go to the sketch select the surface just say okay now we just want to project the, these lines for that go to the menu insert associate curves project curve select this line this line just rotate it get this line and get this line just say okay finish the sketch extrude change the direction to next until next subtract just say okay now just hide the sketch now you can get a thread finish also so this way we can make a uh, hexagonal bold using nx i hope this you like this video if you like this video please share to your friends for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you